we are going to talk about one more scenario uh, we are going to work upon um, you know string slicing and also the map and possibly the vector so these uh, advanced things we are going to use in this scenario so what is the required is, requirement is like we have a you know multiple strings as an input and what we need to do is uh, as a complete uh, paragraph let's say if i can there are five records right so let's say i'm considered it as a para paragraph okay is in this paragraph i need to count the vowels now what are the different number of vowels right a e i o u right so how many uh, how many uh, number of uh, vowels which we have in this uh, you know entire string uh, so currently we have five records it could be multiple more right so i am going to read this as an um, you know string let's say one by one i am reading so all those five records i am going to read uh, as in a string new line uh, input okay and then what is the assumement is like the requirement is how many time the a is coming in the entire paragraph how many times e is coming how many times i o and so on you right so these five records i am going to have in the output right so like i said right so we need to manipulate uh, this uh, you know so i am going to uh, my output record would be looking like like paragraph the input whatever we have given entire string and it have as an out parameter and the vector i am using vector as an output also for the key value key i am taking a how many number of times it a is coming in entire paragraph and similarly i o u okay and i am taking length prefixed vector okay so mostly and almost all cases can be solved using the length prefixed vector okay so therefore i am using length prefixed vector over here also and also this uh, uh, length prefixed vector is compatible with the map so you can easily convert my map to the you know vector so therefore this is also desirable to use the vector over here which is length prefixed okay now <clears throat> let's go to the norm roll up so what we have in roll up is like we will have multiple functions right multi stage transform function uh, is the roll up uh, component so i have an out input select a roll up right in the roll up what i need to do is entire paragraph i am concatenating concatenation is a function if i pass in dot str so it will entirely it will you know concatenate everything all the strings within a single column okay and the char count vec so i would need to create this vector so that it will have a key value pair of vowel and their number of counts okay number of how many numbers they are coming in the entire paragraph so i need to read so i know that input select all the records will pass through input selects for sure when that we know so already i have decided that i need to pass all the records therefore i have chosen out as always one but as a trick i need to manipulate um, my all the inputs okay and i know every input record is going to go through input select so what i need to do is i will populate my global variable using this function okay so i have declared my global variables my map i have taken it globally also i have this uh, declared a vector type over here which has a key value pair and it is also compatible with the my uh, map okay so we will for manipulation and population purpose we are going to use my map and then entirely conveniently we are going to convert my map into the vector and so that vector can travel to the flow downstream flow okay that's what we have discussed multiple times why map and why not vector right for the manipulation for performance perspective map is going to be a uh, superior okay so and also it is comes a convenient of uh, uh, you know modification at the same place 
like because it's a you know, key and value pair so i don't have to iterate through um, kind of uh, the way, the way we do in web vector right so we don't have to iteration through so because um, that's when we can uh, if we have key we can reference the value and uh, this is a similar situation here because i know the key i know the key r a e i o u and i just i need to check the occurrence and i need to increment the count okay so let's uh, let's uh, populate the vec map okay so i need to iterate through the my uh, input string per record basis and i need to manipulate my map so if i is okay so i am uh, taking for loop so let i is i is less than equal to string length i n dot s tier so i need to from through entire string i need to uh, you know work through and then if string index okay i i plus 1 1 so what is this thing is like it will take the uh, it's a string slice expression basically so if you do this so it will take like uh, for the first element i will be 0 i plus will be 1 and 1 so if you do string i 0 colon 1 1 so what it will do is it will take the first element first element in the sense of s it will take the s for first time okay right if it is a member of this one s is not a member of this one so this will not execute okay so now it will go to the next element uh, s a so next time is santosh right santosh second element right santosh so if str i i in the sense of 1 2 and 1 str 1 2 1 if i take so it will take the a so a is member of this one yes it is so map of a will be 1 now map of a value will be 1 so next time when a comes so map of a would be this one is going to return the previous value of a and plus one so it is going to increment the values corresponding to that particular key similarly whenever it a, e comes so first time it is going to send map e is equal to one next time when it comes e comes then you know map a would becomes it will take the previous value and it will increment it by one so it becomes two and so on so what i have done uh, using this one is i read all four records in input uh, select okay because it's roll up will uh, have you know it uh, input select will be called for every record so sim uh, and map is a global variable so it will keep on incrementing keep on referencing those values and then finally map will have five elements uh, five key and their corresponding values okay so now what i need to do is i have prepared the map okay and in the roll up i can reference that map i can type cast that map into vector type and then i do it sort and then assignment happens in the roll up part so that that exercise i will do in the roll up so if i do that so it will have a this output okay uh, as paragraph and uh, paragraph is like this one so this paragraph would contain is like everything all these things for a in a one record and the vector will have one record which will have these value these many element five elements and the their corresponding values so 29 times it may not be uh, same because maybe i have you know so you can exactly uh, i have uh, you know a practice in gd and then i uh, type here so it may not be exactly same so it's but <clears throat> i've just written numbers but it will work perfectly okay you can practice it 
and uh, similarly you can utilize in if you need this kind of situation right this kind of things if you need to count so map is map and vector solution is going to be help uh, you know handy in these kind of scenarios thank you so much please subscribe my channel and you can share uh, with others thank you so much